So today I'm going to talk about Builder 2 and give everyone a general overview of how to use this asset. Um, once you've imported it into your project, like we have here, you can see that we have the Builder 2 project folder and you can access the general tools of Builder up here in the Builder menu. Uh, here we can just click on Create New Building and it will create and select a new building for you to use in Unity. Now the first thing we need to do is create the uh, initial volume. Uh, of the four options here, we can start off by placing a square volume. Um, we click here and place it into the scene view. And here we can see a basic uh, volume here. We can also uh, click drag a, a rectangle shape. Um, that could be any rectangle shape. And finally, we can free draw any sort of uh, shape we want uh, in the scene view like this. So we'll start off with just a basic uh, square uh, building. Now what we can do here is edit the uh, building floor height um, and we can change the, the number of floors so that we can have a slightly taller building. And next I want to apply a facade to our building, and this is a bit different than from version 1, um, where we now have facade uh, styles. And here, as you can see, we can just drag a facade style directly from our project view onto a selected builder facade, and it will update it as we drop it on there. Next, we can uh, look into editing roofs. At the moment, we have three options. Um, I'm going to show you uh, the pitched and the mansard roofs along with the default flat roof. But for now, we'll stick with mansard and we'll add some dormer windows to it. And here you can see we can edit the basic values of the dormer windows. We can also apply a wall section style to the uh, dormer window facades. Uh, we're just going to go with a simple classical window. Now with the roof, we need to apply textures individually. And in Builder, we have um, what we call surfaces, which uh, contain a little bit more data uh, than your standard um, Unity materials so that we can generate the appropriately sized textures. Now next we're going to generate an interior for our building. There are two ways that you can create rooms in Builder. The first way as we can see here is that we can drag place rectangles. The second method is we can click place the, the rooms by clicking on points on the floor plan and putting down walls. With this method we can define far more complex and interesting room layouts. And as you can see in order to complete you need to click on the initial point. With our rooms, we can also apply a room style which gives us, which defines for us the textures of the walls, the floor, and the ceiling. The final thing we can add into a interior is a vertical space. 
which defines an area, a space that can traverse multiple floors in, in a volume. Here we can set it up to be a stairwell that goes from the ground floor across all of the floors of the volume to provide access from the ground floor up.